You're here to listen to Reducing Air and Noise Pollution in Cities. Based on the City Lounge idea, we strongly advocate using bikes. As you know, we have more bikes than people in the Netherlands, but also public transport for passenger mobility. And there's going to be an, uh, an electric bike sharing system with distribution points at uh, public transport stations, and residents can inspire each other by uh, being part of a digital uh, uh, bike uh, community. I think if we electrify all vehicles, uh, we are still going to have cities that have we're still going to have obesity epidemics. Mm -hmm. We're still going to have cities that are highly inequitable. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have cities that aren't beautiful and lives that aren't very fun because we're still going to be stuck in cars. Of course, all the efforts which have been made by the autonomous car are, are interesting, but they will not solve the issues of uh, congestion because if you have an electric car in the middle of a traffic jam, of course it's good, it's an electric car, but it's still in the middle of a traffic jam. What if we ban cars from city centers? tomorrow, all of them, and basically you know, scaled up these eco-zones. Um, what would that require in terms of, you know, we would have to put in more trams immediately, and then we'd have to start dealing with the issues of noise and air pollution from trams as they exist now. One thing that we've seen could be a game changer, you know, that when you're a transportation planner, the richest data sets you get are origin destination sets. When you're planning transportation, um, that's, ex that's also the most expensive type of data to get. You usually need to make, do, you know, tens of thousands of household phone calls and ask them detailed questions about everywhere they went. Uh, this could be completely shortcut in developing countries if mobile telecoms uh, shared tower data in a randomized way with governments. If you're sitting in a commuting solution, mobility solution, or you're sitting in a car, and um, in, in the very near future you can focus on other things than, than just really uh, driving, uh, well, this may be an opportunity, of course, and bringing people uh, some time back is maybe not a, not a bad thing as such. Please give a round of applause for our panelists.